See this July 4. A planned event will be called a salute to America, the president tweeted Sunday morning, and will be held at the Lincoln Memorial. Trump wrote, hold the date. We will be having one of the biggest gatherings in the history of Washington, D. C., on July 4. It will be called a salute to America and will be held at the Lincoln Memorial. Dottie happily added, major fireworks display, entertainment and an address by your favorite president, me. As President Trump is teeing up for the second summit with Chairman Kim Jong-un, this will be an opportunity for the two to have more diplomatic talks, trade deals with help from China, and to show peace on the world stage. Further, it's a move towards denuclearization to remove sanctions. The commander in chief said, very productive talks yesterday with China on trade. We'll continue today. I will be leaving for Hanoi, Vietnam, early tomorrow for a summit with Kim Jong un of North Korea, where we both expect a continuation of the progress made at first summit in Singapore. Denuclearization. Trump also wrote, President Xi of China has been very helpful in his support of my meeting with Kim Jong-un. The last thing China wants are large-scale nuclear weapons right next door. Sanctions placed on the border by China and Russia have been very helpful. Great relationship with Chairman Kim. Continued below. While the president is continuing peace through strength, and leaving the economic door open for North Korea, Trump continued on Twitter, Chairman Kim realizes, perhaps better than anyone else, that without nuclear weapons, his country could fast become one of the great economic powers anywhere in the world. Dottie declared, because of its location and people, and him, it has more potential for rapid growth than any other nation.